Hey, it's Denise, and I wanted to talk to you about the zinnias in my arrow garden. Uh, these zinnias have been teasing me for like a week. You can see all six plants still doing well. There's the three in that garden. I mean, the two arrow gardens, you can see the seam in the middle there where they meet. It's considered one unit. This is a farm XL or farm XL tall or something. It's the one that's three feet high. I've discussed it before. But what I wanted to show you is that all six plants, this one's the, the furthest ahead, definitely have set buds. And I'm now to the point where I'm trying to guess what color zinnias did I end up with. And of course, it's like these things are, are keeping a secret to the last minute. They're just starting to open. They've been, you can see like <laughs> when I have it on, on the double zoom like I do right now, I sometimes forget where I need to have the camera pointing. Um, there's that one. When they're closed like that, they just look like little cabbages, basically, in the middle. And you really don't have any idea what color the flower is going to be. So the one that's opening first would seem to be this one. And I'm thinking, I mean, those outer standing up petals, if, if they're even, I don't even know if they qualify as petals, uh, are green. So that wasn't helpful, but it looks like, does that look like it's going to be purple inside the flower? Purple or pink, maybe? Trying to guess here, because remember, these came out of a mix. And the same here. Does that look like it's going to be pink, or is it too, too soon to tell? Am I not really seeing the true petals yet? And then, like I showed you, the rest of them are just still really closed, and you can't tell yet. Now, if I take things back here... Will it let me unzoom? Yes, there we go. You can see the whole setup. And again, it's an arrow garden, so the lights are above. So there's my six plants. There's the uh, support grid of wires. And the plants, if I get you right over it, you'll see there. Of course, I'm going to make a shadow, so it's hard to see probably. But you can see that there are two in this section. There are two. And by section, I'm referring to these guide wires that... Uh, will give some support as the plants get taller. The one from either end, you know, this is the far left of the right garden, and this is the far right of the left garden, are going to come up in the middle section. And then this end will be in this. So I should have two plants in each third. That's uh, And they're cooperating. This one is actually over. It's a little taller than the wire. I can get an angle and show you that. Can you see that? You're gonna make gonna make me squat all the way down. And if if you've known me and heard me talk about disability, you know that when I squat all the way down, like to the floor, there's always the hope of will I actually stand back up? Um, it's not it's not choosing to focus on the flower, really, is it? I mean, you can see that the flower. Because if I get us right eye level with that uh, wire, you can see that the flower is taller than it at this point. That's the center one, the most uh, open one. These guys are still a little bit shorter. We still got, the back one is almost the height of, and this front one is definitely still a couple inches shorter. But uh, I just wanted to show you that yes, the zinnia plants are lush and no signs of any sort of, you know, um, fungal disease or rot or any anything and at this point they've got very, very developed root systems <laughs> see how long the stem is getting in that that's the tall one in the middle they've got very developed root systems so they're not um top of the leaves you can see like yeah no no sort of fungus no and of course because they're inside no insect damage or anything um but yeah they've got really big root systems at this point so they are not um, you know, even though the arrow garden does a watering cycle 15 minutes out of every hour, and that's something that you can, uh, you can adjust. That's how I have it set up is 15 minutes out of every hour. That really, at this point, isn't that important because their root systems dip down into the uh, water reservoir. So the water actually sprinkling over the top of the base of the plant, which is what it's doing during a watering cycle. That's not as important once your plants have big enough root systems that they're reaching down into the water. But 
yeah, the longer I stay squatted down here, the uh, more likely it is I'll have trouble getting up. So uh, excuse if I bounce you around here for a sec. Okay, and I'm up. So that is what I wanted to show you, that the, my zinnias that we've been waiting for. It's December 23rd, so yes, it's it's taken a little while, but in the middle of winter, because we have a couple feet of snow outside as I'm recording this, in the middle of winter, I'm going to be having some beautiful flowers growing in my hallway. So that's that was my whole point in planting these here. Anybody wants to take a guess on the colors they think we're getting? I will once again show you the flower packet that I used. These are the Cut and Come Again mix. And you can see there's a kind of covering it there with my thumb, but there's white. There's this almost like marigold, yellowy orange. There's that sort of salmon-y color, salmon-y orange in the middle. There's that pink, there's red, there's yellow. So... I don't know which colors I have yet, although honestly, I'll be happy with any colors. I just hope I, I, I you know, it would be like bonus for it to be a nice variety, uh, but I'll, I'll be happy with any colors. So just wanted to show you the progress and I will show you again once I actually have them, you know, in bloom and we know what color they are. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, I always appreciate you doing that. Um, Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're doing any indoor growing this winter. And if so, what are you doing? Or let me know if you use an arrow garden in your house. Uh, what are you growing in yours? Have a great day. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch.